The New York Mets get hit by a ton of pitches. They lead the league in getting hit by pitches. It's who they are. It's their identity. Only they don't like it at all. This breakdown is brought to you by Keeps. You're not going to like if you go bald and you could have prevented it by going to Keeps. Last year, the Mets were third in the NL at getting hit, and then they brought over Canna and Marte and some other players that get hit all the time. So we tried to warn you on Talking Baseball, be ready. This team's going to get hit by pitches. So the Mets should be climbing up the NL rankings in total hit by pitches. The Mets are going to Mets are kill going to look hit for by s- pitch game. Look for some fights. Yeah. Some fights. Some fights, and you're right, because a lot of the hit-by-pitches are just kind of their arms sticking out or their toes sticking out, but some of them have been really scary, like that one to the head and that one to the head and that one to the head and then this one from the Cardinals to the head. Alonzo's been hitting the head twice, and that is scary. He gets up and jogs, and then after Alonzo gets hit, they hit J.D. Davis in the foot. Just a direct shot to the foot, and the Mets are sick and tired of this. They don't like it. They're getting hurt. They're getting hit at a crazy rate. They don't enjoy it. They want out. J.D. Davis out the game. So the next inning after Davis gets hit, maybe this is on purpose. Maybe it's just a slip. Arenado, the batter for the Cardinals, he definitely, I think, he's prepared to get thrown at. He's like, hey, We've hit a couple of their guys. They're going to hit me. So the first pitch is high and inside. Now, it's not incredibly high. It's not incredibly inside, but Arenado isn't a fan. He's going to bounce over. He's going to look at the pitcher, kind of nod, look at him like, okay, all right, all right. Hey, my guy, hey, do it again. Hey, do it again. Vamos, let's go. Um says, hey, calm down. No, fuck that. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. He's really, this is like an actor, like an acting coach. Like, come on, bring it. Bring it. Give me everything you got. Give me everything you got. He's furious. Absolutely tosses the catcher. <laughs> just the bad half move, badass move. Just, nope, you're over there. You over there. Uh, here's this. I think it's funny because the pitcher didn't hear like half of that. You can see him yelling, nod, yeah, do it again. And the pitcher's not even looking. Not, not even looking. Now he's kind of like, oh, what? What are you yelling? What are you yelling? And then the catcher is just going to get tossed to the side. Now, here's how all the dugouts empties. This is the Mets, kind of casual. Here's the bullpen of the Mets, a long run in by them. The bullpen of the Cardinals is hilarious. All the relievers run down the ramp, and it's just an absolute log jam at the end. They can't get out. They can't open the door. It's just like a stampede. But meanwhile, <laughs> Giovanni Gallegos is like, I'll just go over the wall, dude. See you guys later. Reverse that. He's on the fence, and this guy who's at the end of the line Looks over. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, where'd he go? Yep, I'm off. See you guys later. Enjoy getting stuck at the door. Fixes his hat. Readies himself for battle. Now, the Cardinals bench, you got Goldie tightening the water bottle before he absolutely slams it to the ground, and then he's off to the races. Pretty thoughtful of him to tighten that first. And now this is the main story. You got Pete Alonzo and the first base coach for the Cardinals. This is where all the action happens in the pile. Everything else is just kind of what you'd expect it to be. But you see the coach wraps him up, and he's just wrapping Alonzo up. Everyone else is just kind of doing the thing, pushing, moving. And then you have Genesis Cabrera rip Alonzo's jersey, and they just get him out of the pile. Look at this. A two-man wrecking crew just pull Alonzo right out of the pile, Cabrera and the coach Alonzo stands up and he's still going after him keeping him on the perimeter finally Alonzo's like who is this like who are you hey guy who are you and he says who am I I'm Stubby the third grandson of David Ezra Oscar Stubby son of Keith Ezra Stubby (laughs) father of Cooper Stubby I come from Windsor which is basically just Detroit and I just took you down man and Alonzo's like what Hey, guy, who are you? And Wayno's like, hey, Stubby, Stubby, lay off him. Hey, Stubby, lay off him. Hey, Stubby, lay off him. And then Alonzo's going to get a lot of, like, sympathy pats. Like, oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. We got you, buddy. It's all right, buddy. We got you. It's okay. And Wayno's going to, it's okay, buddy. We got you. Don't worry about it. That was just Stubby, you know? He's just our little guard dog. And then he's going to give some pats back. And he says, I'm good. Are you guys good? Are you good? Okay. Who was that guy again? What would you say his name was? Stubby? He's from Windsor? These fans, look at this fan, Fu Manchu mustache, backwards hat, sunglasses, beer in one. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. They got to see exactly what they wanted. Arenado catching his breath. He's like, all right. All right. I'm going to be back in the game, right? For sure. And they're like, no, uh, it's okay. So it looks like Arenado and probably that stubby dude. We kicked them, them out. So they get ejected. 
Goldie gets his water, finishes it. Alonzo's walking around and getting back in the field like, what just happened? I was just on the outside, and all of a sudden, what was his name? His name was Stubby? Damn. 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 Stubby? Guy named Stubby got me? I'm a polar bear. Guy named Stubby got me? Damn. 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 I got pulled from behind. Actually, Genesis Cabrera grabbed me by the back of the collar, and then, then he just uh, ripped down, and then the coach just kind of jumped on me, and I thought that was kind of kind of cheap going, going, going from behind. I mean... I mean, that's if you want to if you want to hold me back, if you want to restrain me, go at me like a man. I just watched the video. He's making sure that that guy doesn't come after one of ours. He's holding him back. Um, I don't see an issue with it at all. Um, I watched it several times before coming in here and he's keeping their guy from getting on top of one of ours. So I'm OK with it. I totally understand because I'm a big guy, I'm a big strong guy, and he, his, obviously the manager wants to uh, have protection for, for his team and, and his staff, and I totally get it. And for me, like, I'm a big strong guy, they don't, they don't know, like, my temper, they don't know what I could do. I mean, if I wanted to put someone in the hospital, I easily could, but I was just out there trying to protect my guys. This breakdown was brought to you by Keeps, K-E-E-P-S dot com slash John Boy, 50% off your first order. Keeps offers clinically proven research-backed treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth.